There were thousands of girls, 12 and 13 years old, who made tapes across the country. And I saw several hundred of the tapes, and I personally interviewed at least 100 girls. And there came a time when I thought we're not going to be able to make this film with a 12 or 13 year old girl. It was impossible for a lot of reasons, uh, not least of which was what was this going to do to a child after performing an experience like that. And I remember sitting in my office at Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers, by the way, was at 666 Fifth Avenue, <laughs> which is an address that still exists. And the building is owned by Jared Kushner. <laughs> so process that. <laughs> process this. Um, and I remember I had my head in my hands, and I was thinking, we're going to have to try and find some 16 or 15-year-old girls who look younger who can do this. When my assistant buzzed me and said, there's a woman out here named Eleanor Blair, and uh, she's brought her daughter. She doesn't have an appointment. Would you see her? And I said, why not? The second Linda Blair walked in the door, I knew it was her. I just knew it. Because I don't know how many of you believe in God. But those of us who have made films and had some success certainly believe in the movie God. <laughs> and I believe it was the movie God that brought Ellen Burstyn and Linda Blair to the film. So I asked her if she knew anything about the Exorcist book. And she said, oh yes, I read it. I said, you read this book? Yeah. Um, I said, what's it about? She said, it's about a little girl that gets possessed by the devil and does a whole bunch of bad things. And I said, well, like what? And she said, well, um, she hits her mother across the face and she pushes a man out of her bedroom window, and she masturbates with a crucifix. And I looked at her mother, who was still smiling. And so I got in touch with Ellen, and we tested her. And Ellen worked with her like a mother. She not only, Linda's mother, who passed away, uh, was wonderful. But Ellen became a surrogate mother to Linda on the set. And the reason that Linda is so damn good in this picture is because Ellen worked with her and talked to her and embraced her and imparted all the incredible knowledge that she has as an actress. My favorite yeah. images of, of Linda is in the makeup room. It took her hours every day to get in that horrible makeup. And so there was a television behind her, and she, she would be facing the mirror, and this horrible face would be put on her. But she's watching cartoons on the TV. <laughs> <laughs>